We're in the middle of a flame flutter block tutorial. Block is not needed to use flame, but we're going through the tutorial to learn about block. This particular tutorial will put a joystick here to control Pinky. As we build our flutter game with flame, we're working on this sprite component here called Pinky, who is the hero of our story. In the update method, I'm going to comment out the movement here so that we can then insert a joystick. Flame comes with a number of examples on the GitHub repository for Flame. Go into examples and let's find it. Go into lib, stories, and there's all these subfolders here input and there is a joystick example so let's check it out so there's a section here for the joystick and we will copy it and let's try to drop it into our code the joystick is part of flame so we're going to go into the flame layer we have our game organized as flutter layer and flame layer for the purpose of education. So we're going to Pinky Game, and Pinky Game has extended Flame Game. So this is the kind of the main engine of our game here, and there is this onload section here where we can add the joystick. It's within the, it's within the onload method. And there are is a bunch of red here. So the control dot, I'll import the flame palette. Uh, there's a joystick here, but I think we want to define it above the onload, late joystick component. Maybe let's call it joystick. And that red is gone. This is from Flutter. And there's this player here, but ours is going to be different. We'll just add it in and see whether it works. It's not hooked up. Oh, okay. Okay, error message is pretty clear. We just need to add has draggables. It's a mix in from Flame. So I'll just add has draggables. And okay, how's our game look? It's looking good. Okay, let's go back to Pinky here. And we're not going to use these simple X and Y additions since we have the information from the joystick. So Pinky already has a position. So this position here is from the uh, position component and we can just access it right here um, it's being inherited from the position component which the sprite component is a position component so we'll just add to the position and we'll get the game ref the joystick so this has game ref we're going to specify the name of the game which is we call it pinky game once we specify it here with the name of the actual game, we can access the individual variables from the game, which we called a joystick. If you remember, we, in our game, we have this joystick component that we are setting to the joystick. So this game ref dot joystick is that variable, which is the joystick instantiated version of the joystick component. And built into the joystick, we have delta. And we could theoretically run it like this. Maybe I'll, I'll run it real quick to show you. So it, it will work like this. It's just he's running a little fast. So we want a little bit more control, especially on different types of devices. 
So I'm going to multiply it times dt, which I'm getting from here, which is it's 60 frames a second, but it's going to be a little bit too slow with that. So we'll, we'll set a speed here of 10, and we'll see how Pinky runs around. So it's a little slow, but as we progress with our game, I think it's good enough. It's variable speed. So I'm going to set this as a so we can alter the speed of pinky uh, in the future. sure pinky still works so every time pinky hits a gem the score will increase this the score is stored in the block in future videos we'll be able to add for example a snack bar a dialogue alert dialogue here buttons on alert dialogue this is a drawer and flutter that we can use to control different aspects of the game or to show maybe some points on the character. So subscribe to the channel and we'll be covering some of these concepts in future videos about how to use Flutter and Flame together and using the block architecture.